Hello and welcome to the Family History Writers AI Toolbox. This is a resource that I've developed over a period of time that I hope you will find useful to transform your ancestral stories from those scattered facts to compelling narratives. So what's inside the toolbox? Well, we have this problem, most of us as genealogists, when we're writing, our assets are usually scattered across dozens of tabs on our browsers. We're likely to have lost prompts and creative blocks that keep our ancestors' stories buried inside our research notes. So what if we could have a toolbox that solved that issue? One organized browser workspace containing everything you need to transform your family history into engaging narratives with AI assistance, of course. So here's your quick start checklist. I use my Chrome browser to do this, but you can do it with other browsers. First step is to set up your browser tab group. Give it a name, such as the Family History Writers Toolbox. And you can add any of the five essential tabs that I've put. And then you pin that group for instant access, which means as you come to your workplace and open up your computer for the day's work, click one tab and all of that is opened for you. The next step is to bookmark your AI writing partners. Now I use these five most often, ChatGPT or Perplexity, specific GPTs that I've created or from the GPT store, and Abacus AI, where I can use that particular image generator called Flux to create or colorize my ancestral photos. The next step is to save your prompt templates. As you go through your journey into using AI, you'll develop prompts that you want to reuse over again. So you can create that inside either a Google Doc, Google Sheet, or just an Excel spreadsheet, whatever you are most familiar with. And this will help you organize your prompts and get reference and access to them when you need them. So indicate having some form of visual creative tools beside you. I use Canva. It's invaluable to help set up my presentations, my illustrations, and when I'm giving tutorials for genealogy and AI. It comes with its own set of templates that you can use, and that saves a lot of time in, in that you don't have to think through the design process. Templates are there for you to choose from. Now, this is what I think you should have in your five essential tabs. Tab one is for your AI writing partners. So those tools that I mentioned before. Tab two can be for your prompt template library. Tab three can be for your worksheets collection or Google Docs, anywhere where you're doing your planning. Next tab would be visual creation tools. This is where you might include Canva. Trello is another which I use for planning. And then tab five, the genealogy and family history archives, where you store your family tree and your stories. Now I use Ancestry.com and WeAre.xyz for these. So with those five tabs, I've got everything at my fingertips ready to go. For your prompt templates, I suggest that you have some that help develop your character. So your ancestor is the character in your story. And I'm giving you an example, generic one there. Just replace what's in the square brackets with your own details. Another prompt would be about setting the scene. 
another for creating dialogue. And at the end here, I've got a 30 minute quick start for writing your first story. And I suggest you pick someone, one of your ancestors, for whom you have at least three to five known facts, perhaps an interesting life event or a challenge, and the emotional connection for you to that ancestor. So you gather your context, and you might use this prompt in your AI tool where you tell it, I'm writing about a particular ancestor who lived in this place at this time, and you're asking the tool to give you suggested historical events, social conditions and daily life details that would have shaped their experience. Then you can move on to creating a character profile where you're saying, based on these facts about my ancestor and give them the facts that you've researched, create a detailed character profile, including personality traits, daily routine, challenges they faced, and what motivated their key life decisions. And then you write the opening scene. This is where you can paste into your AI tool this prompt, where you're asking it to write the opening paragraph of a story about that ancestor. And you would do these three inside one conversation with one tool. That would be my advice, keep it simple. There are some advanced toolbox strategies that you might like to follow up with and a suggested list of ways you can measure your success. Then some pro tips for your toolbox mastery. Prompt refinement, because over time you will definitely be doing that. Workflow optimization, where you get into a workflow where you start each session by opening up your complete tab group. That's what I do these days, and it saves me such a lot of time in thinking about what will I need. So it's just like a, an artisan placing the tools on their workbench. And then community connection. Be prepared to share your best prompts with fellow genealogists. They will learn from what you've discovered. And then you can learn new techniques from other toolbox users. I hope you enjoy this downloadable digital document, the Family History Writers AI Toolbox.